Hey gang, uh, this uh, lesson is coordinate proof using distance, uh, mostly distance formula with segments and triangles. I'm going to uh, remind you what midpoint formula is and uh, I think uh, mid-segment too. So here's our question, how do we write a coordinate proof? Okay, so again we're going to mostly use the distance formula and you've seen this um, uh, two or three or more times and um, you probably forgot, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to remind you here. So uh, the distance between two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2 is, is uh, the square root of, you subtract the x's squared, you subtract the y squared, and you add them. And then square root all of that, okay? That's something uh, I'm sure you're uh, either Algebra 1 teacher, your Integrated 1 teacher um, uh, asked you to memorize, and I'm going to ask you to do that as well. And I know you probably, some of you guys probably forgot, and that's cool. I don't, it, it just just um, uh, uh, from now on you're going to see it over and over, and I, I'm just going to suggest strongly uh, that you try to memorize that. Okay, so subtract the x's squared, subtract the y's squared, add them, and square root it. Okay? All right, so so here we have the endpoints of two segments are given and find each segment length, okay, code word distance formula and tell whether the segments are congruent. Okay, so so segment A, B is given by 6, negative 2 and B is uh, 3, negative 2. And segment C, D is 5, 2 and then D is uh, 1, comma 5. So the distance formula is right there. Memorize that. Okay. <laughs> and then so here we go distance formula so we're going to go um, we're going to do this x minus remember ordered pairs are always in alphabetical order let me go back real quick sorry so uh, ordered pairs are always in alphabetical order x comes before y x comes before y okay if you have different ordered pairs like a comma b alphabetical order uh, H comma K alphabetical order H comes before K okay so here we go distance formula there we go so so x2 minus x1 uh, plus y2 minus y1 we square those okay and then square root those so 3 minus 6 is negative 3 negative 3 squared is 9 negative 2 minus a minus 2 is negative 2 plus 2 which is 0 okay and then uh, similarly we we subtract those and square it and so here we go we get um, uh, uh, square root of 9 and the square root of 16 plus 9 well I can see right there those are not congruent because we're going to get 3 and 5 and they are not congruent okay all right so the midpoint formula is okay midpoint between two points and same uh, x1 y1 x2 y2 is uh, you average the x's and average the y's okay really easy another one uh, I'd like you to remember okay all right so the mid segment of a triangle has its endpoints at the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. Okay, and you saw this in IM1, Integrated Math 1, and you're probably thinking, what does that mean? Okay, so uh, it, here's a mid segment right here. It joins the midpoint of two sides of a triangle right here. See how that side equals that side, and that side equals that side. So that's a midpoint, that's a midpoint, so mid segment right there. Okay, and so a mid segment theorem just says uh, it's parallel to the third side and half the length okay so it's parallel and so whatever this length is it's always half of this length right here so let's pretend like this length is 20 this length would be 10 okay or if this length was say 3 this length would be 6 okay it's always half that uh, third side all right so given these coordinates we want to prove uh, okay so looks like we're gonna plot these points okay so let's plot these points um, and we're going to prove the triangle, uh, or I'm sorry, angle ABC is congruent to angle DEF. Okay, so so here we're going to have this triangle. We're going to have this triangle right here. What we're going to do is plot them, and then we'll get a, two triangles, and we'll um, use distance formula uh, to to uh, show that they are congruent by side side side. And do you remember from uh, IM2? There's five ways to prove triangles congruent. Um, one is side, side, side. One is side, angle, side. 
One is angle side angle, one is angle angle side, not angle side side. Don't make an angle side side of yourself. And then the other one is HL. So here we're going to use um, side side side. And the, the whole th um, uh, thrust of this segment is distance formula, proving triangles can grow up by side side side. And then we can say CPCTC, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay, so here we go. We're going to use the distance formula. There's three sides here, there's three sides here. We're going to show that all the sides are congruent. So here's AB. Um, AB has side length of 5. Okay, so here we go. Y sub, or I'm sorry, X sub 2 minus X sub 1 squared. Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 squared, and then square root all of that. So 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 squared is 9, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4, negative 4 squared is 16, 9 plus 16 is, um, is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5, okay? Okay, so here we go. So BC doing the same thing, we get the square root of 17, so that is root 17. So here we're going to do AC. Let's do that real quick. So AC. So 1 minus 2 is, is uh, negative 1. Squared is 1. Uh, 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Squared is negative 3. Or I'm sorry, is 9. Sorry, 1 plus 9 is 10. And the square root of 10 is just root 10. Okay? A little bit more than the square root of 9, which is 3, which is so it's probably 3.1-ish. But, but we just want to know the length is root 10. Okay, so now let's do DEF. Okay, all right, so here we go. So <clears throat> DE is 5, EF is root 17, and by golly, we get root 10. So the triangles are congruent by side, side, side. So, so triangle, remember. Uh, a, B, C, corresponding parts would be first, second, second, and third letter would be equal to angle uh, D, E, F, first, second, and third letter. My air conditioner just shut off. It's a hot August day. It's like 110 right now. So, so by the triangles congruent by uh, side, 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 then we can say those angles are congruent by C, P, C, T, C, and this stands for corresponding Oops, I should be, uh, this should be P, C, P, C, T, C, I'm gonna, let me change that real quick, C, sorry, C, P, T, C, uh, corresponding parts, congruent triangles, congruent, there we go, my, uh, I'm gonna rental computer, and so my mouse does not work that well. Corresponding parts, congruent triangles, congruent. Okay, guys, if you're in my class, you're going to be doing that. And that is distance formula. Uh, looks like um, uh, one, two, and then three, four, five. Five problems. You're going to be doing distance formula. So, so here you're going to get uh, side, side, side on all of those. Uh, one or two of these, you're going to get equilateral triangles, which is all three sides. And isosceles triangle is two equal sides. But anyways, you're using distance formula on all of those. Okay, guys, hope that makes sense, and, and take care.